welcome to Talking in Prescott Valley. Marnie, you're your host here. Back again, finally. Thank you so much to Gloria Gross for filling in this past couple of weeks. This is the last, gosh, the last couple of days of June. It's been quite a month, quite a month for many of us, but we're getting through it. And again, appreciate Gloria's been able to sit in the driver's seat and, and host the show and keep things going. And uh, always with Mark Stone, it makes it so easy. So thank you guys for all your work and uh, continuing to keep this show moving forward. So my first guest today, the big conversation is right now, what's happening in the 4th of July? The chamber is getting a lot of phone calls on 4th of July coming up this, uh, well, Wednesday, July the 4th, uh, Independence Day celebration at Mountain Valley Park. And joining me is Hope Hooper with Parks and Recreation. And we're conversing because it's like, do we or do we not have fireworks? And everyone knows that we are in stage two fire restrictions. We'll be talking with our fire marshal, Rick Chasen, a little bit about that and everything you can do to keep your community safe. But always at the forefront is our town of Prescott Valley recognizes how safety is so important. But we're talking about the 4th of July fireworks, and we are happy to say they are on. They are we're on. We're having them. Through no huge part in planning, planning with Central Arizona Fire Medical Authority, planning with our Public Works Department and all the, the water trucks we have, planning with everyone that clears the land, planning with the fireworks guys, and everybody involved to make it a very safe event. They have over 20 years of doing this. We've done this fireworks in other cases where we've been in this situation because for, we live in a desert and we have drought. <laughs> and we've had this in many years past, continue with the fireworks and they just know they make them safe, right? They do, yes. And we'll be actually be having daily meetings with staff to until the fireworks to go over everything, make sure everyone's on the same page. We have all hands on deck. We have all water tanks on deck. Anything and everything we can do, and then some, we're doing it. So Absolutely. it's, it's going to be a safe and fun event. And and it's we don't take it lightly we understand mm -hmm. that and that's mm -hmm. what's so important but like you said you do have the meetings and if for some wild and something should happen obviously of course notifications will go out on any changes of schedule oh, yes. always follow the town of prescott valley's facebook page mm -hmm. the chamber's facebook page go to both of their websites if you're a member or call gloria you could be a part of our e-flash where we send out weekly notifications or e-blasts where we immediately notify you if there's something important that we need to communicate out to the community and mm -hmm. to our members. So again, lots of ways you'll find out the information. You can just access it again via your computers, <laughs> which is the easiest way to get any information right now. That's right. So hope. What, I mean, 4th of July, big Independence Day celebration. We've been doing this many, many years at Mountain Valley Park. So much fun. What else is going on that we can enjoy besides the fireworks that end the wonderful day? Well, we'll have um, food vendors setting up and ready to go at three. And then the That's beer- That's my favorite food. The beer garden will open at four, so. That's everybody else's favorite. Yep, exactly. I'm working. <laughs> <laughs> but everyone right, has Chase. a good time with that. <laughs> We'll also have uh, Hero Party Rentals out. Um, they'll have their inflatables, they'll have an obstacle course, water slides, all kinds of really fun stuff for the kids to do. Uh, wristbands are going to be the same price they were last year, 1995 mm -hmm. in tax. Um, so make sure you bring some cash and a card or a card to pay for that for the kiddos. Can you pick them up ahead of time somewhere? You can. You can go okay. to Freedom Station and pick them up ahead of time or you can buy them at the event. Um, they'll be located in the what we call the fourplex at Mountain Valley Park, which is uh, the four softball fields that are connected to each other. Uh, you'll see them. They're going to have all their stuff out there. So you'll definitely see uh, Hero Party Rentals. It's a total village out there. there. Oh, yeah. With oh, yeah. <laughs> lots of kids. Yes. A village run by kids, running them up, <laughs> having a great time. But the weather's always, you know, warm and oh, nice. Yeah. And, you know, I've been doing this now. It's been this is probably my 13th, 4th of July. And I think out of 13 years, 12 of them, we've had rain. So if all plays out as well as it has in the past, could have a little monsoon rain right in the middle of the afternoon yeah. where we all take cover and That'd then be perfect. come back out and it's a beautiful evening. Yeah, and if that happens, take cover under the pavilion. Um, we'll have a band playing there from 6.30 to 8. Five in the Wheel is going to join us, so we're very excited to have them. Great day. Yeah. This is Wednesday, really July the 4th, Mountain Valley Park, starting at what time? 
3 o'clock for food vendors and uh, hero party rentals, and then 4 o'clock for the beer. And then once it gets dark, we'll have uh, fireworks going off. And the pool, will that be open? The pool will be open for our regular open swim. Um, we're still discussing whether there's anything we need to cancel that day, which would be like private lessons and stuff. So anyone mm -hmm. that's involved in that will get a notice directly if that is canceled Excellent. that day. Yeah. Excellent. Exactly. Yep. So that's going on? Wednesday, July the 4th, Mountain Valley Park. Come on out and join us and have a great time as we celebrate Independence Day, the Prescott Valley way. So, movies under the stars, you still have a few of those. Yeah. And then, interesting enough, the one that weekend we planned our golf tournament, you had a concert outside. It was the one day we've seen any m measurable, all bit small, rain and so you had to cancel that outdoor concert on on uh, that saturday yeah, before father's day it rained just long enough and mm -hmm. just far enough into the afternoon that we figured it would probably be safest and best for everyone if we rescheduled and we have a date now Good. so um the desert cats will reschedule date is july 14th which is a saturday they'll be playing at 6 30 at the civic center uh theater on the green which is the stage that's out there mm -hmm. uh, we're very excited to have them back we glad we were so happy that we could work out a date that worked for them as well right. as the sound tech. I'm glad because I can go now too. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, it's all about me, right? <laughs> I mean, if I can be there, it's fun. That's right. So that's which day? That's the... Saturday, July 14th. And then the 21st, you also have another concert. Yeah, we do. We have um, the band Basham is coming out. They're a local Christian rock group. We're excited to have them. Uh, Pete, who is one of their members, is actually a teacher with us uh, for guitar, bass, and ukulele. Pete is so amazing. He's so talented. Yes. I'm very excited to see his band play. And as always, the concerts are... No charge to mm -hmm. our community, anybody wanting to come out, as is the 4th of July celebration. Just the wristbands for the inflatable village that does cost, uh, you know, some money. But other than that, you know, yeah. food and beverage, you might want to purchase something. Yeah. Otherwise, you can bring your own picnic out and enjoy. Whether you're coming to the park of, at Mountain Valley Park or you're coming to Theater on the Green, you mm -hmm. can always bring a picnic, uh, lunch and everything. Just you can't bring the alcohol, the dogs, and glass. Yep, exactly. We have rules. Leave those at home, but bring the picnic, the kids, lawn chairs, picnic blankets. Make yourself at home. There you go. So all this information is on your website? Yep, www.pvaz.net. Or if you have questions that aren't on the website, we can answer for you. 928-759-3090 is the line for the Parks and Recreation Department. <coughs> and again, Facebook, the town of Prescott Valley, or also the Chambers Facebook and check for all the information and we keep it updated of what's going on all through all through the summer so hope you have a busy summer look forward to seeing you I will definitely see you on the 4th of July yes, I'll be you out will. there and again at the concert so Hope Hooper with Parks and Recreation thank you so thank much for you, joining Marnie. us thank you it was a pleasure all right good news good news and again safety we'll take care of it short break here on Talking in Prescott Valley we'll be right back to talk with Rick Chase our fire marshal Hello and welcome to Talking in Prescott Valley. I'm Marnie, your host. Joining me now is Rick Chase, the fire marshal for Central Arizona Fire and Medical Authority. 
How are Hello. you? Good. How are you, Marnie? I'm doing great. Good. So, you know, I mean, we were talking a little bit about the fireworks. This is always a time of concern for the community and specifically, you know, you and the fire uh, departments and our, and our fire um, uh, fires, looking at how we can remain safe and still join, mm -hmm. enjoy the activities that we want to. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. You know, this is one of those typical years like last year, for example, where it's very dry. We've had barely any moisture. I think we've had one day with some rain that we say is, was a teaser for us. Um, unfortunately, we're not going to see more rain before the 4th. It's not in the forecast. So we are still going to go ahead and allow at this time the, you know, the work, what the commercial fireworks shows. Um, we work hand in hand with the town of Prescott Valley. We work with the town of Chino Valley. And we ensure that the, the area is safe where the fireworks are going to be shot off, where the, where the fallout zone is. We ensure that that's safe as uh, it can be. Um, we use water trucks. The town gets their water trucks out. They, they mow down the grasses. So um, we feel confident that uh, the shows should still go on um, without any problems. Mm -hmm. um, you know, some years we get lucky and we get the monsoons that come in in the middle of June, maybe beginning of July. And we love when that happens, of course, because right. it just gives us that nice feeling of comfort that, <laughs> you know, we don't have to worry about fires as much. Um, one thing I'd like to talk about briefly, mm -hmm. though, with fireworks is, um, you know, a lot of the local stores here are selling sparklers and um, other types of fireworks. Yeah. yeah. So what we want to get out to folks is that although they're being sold, we are in stage two fire restrictions. Fireworks are not allowed whatsoever. So don't oh, buy them. Yeah. Don't even buy them. Um, what a waste of money. Yeah. <clears throat> excuse me. So yeah, here in yeah. Arizona, I mean, the whole state, we're just very dry and fireworks are still sold. Mm -hmm. And um, so yeah, just want to get that out there to folks. Do yeah. not use them. Do not use sparklers. They, they put off temperatures between two and thousand, two and 3000 degrees. And you can imagine if it just takes one spark for those to get in any kind of a dry brush and you're going to have a, a wildfire at your hands. So right. Yeah. So don't buy them. I nope. don't know why they're selling them, but a lot of people buy them and they'll take them to places where they are allowed, but, yeah. you know, not necessarily and definitely not at all here. No. Stage two fire restrictions. What does that mean for the rest of us? What does it mean for people coming here to vacation? Well, a couple of things. Uh, one, one of them is I know we get a lot of questions on barbecues. You know, it's the time of year where it's summer. People want to have the barbecues. Barbecues are allowed as long as it's gas, natural gas or propane um, at residential yards, you know, at single family residences and that it has a valve that can be turned on and off a switch basically doesn't put up any embers so anything that basically puts up an ash or an ember so charcoal is prohibited any kind of wood pellet anything like that that will put up an ash or an ember basically is prohibited so um, a lot of people get that confused or they'll call with questions and so again it, it's natural gas and propane um, wow okay yeah and even with that make sure you're, you're aware of where your barbecue is mm -hmm. same thing with the fire pits you know if it's if it's natural gas or propane um, no wood burning fire pits but make sure these I was items, gonna ask you about that yeah wood burning fire pits I mean, a lot of us have those in the backyard and yeah. and you sit out there and be lovely just have a nice summer evening and your friends are gathered and you went wait a minute that burns wood and yes you cannot do that yes wood put up em wood puts up embers and right. embers land somewhere and we've seen fires start that way so mm -hmm. it's mm -hmm. unfortunate but it's for everybody's safety so hopefully you know we try to get that word out to as many folks as we can um, the other thing is, is obviously no use of fireworks. Any kind of model rockets is prohibited. Um, burn permits. I know we get, we have, you know, the fire departments up here allow burn permits mm -hmm. for residential. And basically those are prohibited during stage two fire restrictions. So people just have to wait and burn their brush once we get rains and, right. and the fire restrictions have dropped. Smoking's another big one. No oh, smoking, yeah. yeah, no smoking outside of vehicles, residential yards, or designated smoking areas. So we get a lot of phone calls as well that people will see somebody walk around the park with a cigarette or walking around. And again, I, I know we can't be where everybody is, but it's for all of us, all of our safety. So people remind folks when you see them smoking that we're in stage two and it's prohibited. Um, and again, if you are doing that, set the example for others. If you're walking right. around smoking, others are gonna wanna do the same thing. So it's just, again, for everybody's safety. Yeah, I love to be a big that one. Hey, dude. Yeah. You're not allowed to smoke out here. Yeah, that's always <laughs> a fun one. Whoa, can you see me, Marilyn? <laughs> yeah, it's like, <laughs> all right, I'm gonna take you down. Yeah. No, a question though. Yes. Um, how much rain do we need in order to at least come out of stage two, even advanced to, was it stage one? Yeah. Or what, how much rain do we need to really, not that we're going to get back to normal, but get to a place where some <coughs> of these activities will be allowed? Sure. And, you know, obviously it's going to be more than just a day of rain or, or one or two days. It's got to be a significant amount. So we're talking for several days. Um, if we do get a couple days and it's just a torrential downfall where it's just 
rain and, and it has mm-hmm. soaked the ground and, and we've had flooding and puddles, that's when we all look at dropping the stage out of stage two restrictions. Usually once we come out of stage two restrictions, we're not in any fire restrictions at that oh, okay. time. Now, that doesn't mean it could change. If we do get some rains, say they, they go on for three, four, five days, everybody drops out of restrictions, but then we have a long dry spell again with no rain, we may end up going back into stage one mm, or two. Okay. So again, this is where we advise people, just keep up on the social media pages, um, listen to the radios, the media is a great, great resource to get this information, the newspapers. I we, hear your voice all the time. Yeah. <laughs> it's always on the radio and it t- explains what's going on. Mm-hmm. Also go to Central Arizona Fire Medical Authority Facebook. Yes. That's another good source of yep. information. Yeah, we have that. We have our web page at uh, cazfire.org. We always keep our current fire restrictions on there or for out of restrictions so people can always go there and they can always just call your local fire department if you have questions. Give us a call and and ask and we'll be happy to answer. So um, our phone number is 772-7711. If somebody lives in our jurisdiction, we'd be happy to um, answer any questions. Great job. Well, thank you. Thank you for joining us. Yeah, thank you. Keeping and the good information out there. Yeah, well, we appreciate it. Without yeah. you guys, we can't get it out. So we Well, we work that. hand in hand on that. So, yes. great. All Rick right. Chase, Fire Marshal Center, Arizona Fire Medical 30. Pray for rain. That's all. Yes. There we go. <laughs> thank you, Marty. <laughs> thank you so okay. much. All right. All right. <laughs> joining me now, throwing him really quick in the hot seat because I got this whole new thing that I'm watching the time, and it's watching time tick by. And it goes a lot faster than you realize. <laughs> Catfish. Yes. Satish. Satish Chateli oh, here. Don't touch the mic. I'll Fancy guy that. here. Prescott <laughs> Valley Event Center. What's going on? Not a whole lot because there's so many great things happening in Prescott Valley It is. Valley I mean, right there's now. stuff going on so you, then you don't overlap no, stuff. No, it makes no sense for us to do anything because right, right. we want to be out there and celebrating mm-hmm. all these awesome activities too. Well, you know, <laughs> and, and what's going on out there, you have the NBA draft, so you have the Phoenix Suns drafting, and then that always t- reminds yeah. us of our Northern Arizona Suns that'll be back here playing in a few months, and so that's always exciting. Yeah, but we had a lot of good th- things mm-hmm. in the hopper and good yeah. things that are coming. We just had sunshine. Um, that's right. That was uh, just a two or three weeks ago, so that was pretty awesome. A lot of free med- medical care and everything else. Mm-hmm. I can't talk. <laughs> All right. Um, that's right. We got the PRCA uh, rodeo finals in October. Mm-hmm. So just a reminder for people, I know it's it's summertime, and it seems like it's far away, but it's really not that far away. So Nothing is far our away. Sweets Time's will, marching. Yeah, our suites will sell out. So if you want a suite, give me a okay. call. Call the event center. If you want to be part of the event, you can still be part of the event too. So be sponsorships and stuff like that. Give you a call. Give important. Catfish a call. Yes, mm-hmm. and, or you can just email rodeo at prescavalleyeventcenter dot com. Easy mm-hmm. to remember. So in the beginning of August, we have the uh, Gem and Mineral Show that's coming. Diamonds in. are a girl's Diamonds. best friend. Agates or what are the all the little Agates. things? Agates. We have to study our terms. I know. Again. <laughs> what do they call Gloria? The one when piece they're that, polished off. And yeah, they're, they're, uh, we talk about it every yes, single year. Yes, I know we do. Let's get Maggie back. <laughs> it's on the on the flyer too. Oh, we gotta take a break. Oh, we're time just at. blew out. Okay. Short break. We can come back. More with the teacher. Actually, I'm gonna throw him off. And Marilyn Huffman, Better Business Bureau, will be right Perfect. back. Perfect. Welcome back to Talking in Prescott Valley. Do you think the lights are too much in here? Because Catfish is complaining that he's got too much light on him. No, not enough. I want more <laughs> you light. You want more light? I want we're just going to give you a little shadow here. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> oh, we're talking about lighting. You lighting. know, these are marks. He does a good job because the rest of it, you can't see anything. No, these Which in some are cases nice. is a good thing. Yeah. <laughs> 
<laughs> so we've got a couple of events coming up here at the Prescott Valley Event Center so in August. So August will be busy, so we have the Gem and Mineral Show. And then the big thing that a lot of people are getting excited about, we have Enduro Cross. Enduro Cross, And so that's August yeah. 25th. And tickets are on sale for that as well. And suites are on sale for that as well, What's too. Enduro Cross? So, um... It's motorcycle racing, so we're going to have indoor motorcycle Indoor? Race. Yeah. Wow. So we're going to set up a whole indoor track. So we can't... Is it on dirt or is it's it on... It's on dirt. Um, it's on dirt, on rocks, on gravel. You're bringing all that on in On tires, here. yeah. So we're going to set up wow. a whole course. We can't do the huge air that you see like on ESPN and, and the right, big channels. Right, right. Our ceiling's 54 feet. So believe it or not, that's not high enough. Those guys actually jump higher. Wow. Than that, that's which amazing. is crazy. Yeah. But so Enduro Cross is a lot more tactical or, or technical riding. Mm -hmm. So you, it's racing, but you have to go through like a boulder field. You have to go through water. You have to go over like those huge. Um, They're going to make a mess on that floor, that's for sure. Tractor trailer tires and that kind oh, of I'm stuff. I'm just saying. We, we, Fun. We always clean it up, though. Yeah, you do. You make it like normal again. <laughs> we always it's do really well. You have a crew that like, beats nobody. So that's a really cool event. And then outside, we're actually setting up an electric mountain bike course. So we have an electric mountain bike race and demos and all that kind of stuff where you can actually jump your bikes and all that. Wow, that and, sounds like a great weekend. And you don't even have to pedal. <laughs> they're I, I, like, I like that part. No pedaling. <laughs> there we go, Mark. Okay, so all this is on the website? All this is on the website, PrescottValleyEventCenter.com. we got to go. And That's it. Oh, it's good to have you. All right. All right, sweetie. Happy July 4th. Hey, woo! <laughs> yes, come on out and join me in Mountain Valley Park. I'll be there. All right. Joining me now, Marilyn Hump with the Better Business Bureau. You know... What is summertime without scams? And I'm telling you right now, <laughs> I just got one. Just got one, Marilyn. I got a, a, a today. So don't do these. I got a notice <laughs> on from Apple. It was an invoice saying thank you for your order, and it was like fifty bucks, forty nine ninety nine for buying all these game tokens for something. And I've never, you know, no. So I bring it to Brady. Brady, what is this? You know, and sure enough, they just pick up a random email and mm -hmm. thinking you're going to click or sign up something or confirm, and he just got rid of it for me. But just today, and you're on the show. It was amazing. I said, wow. Watch that. Don't open anything you don't know who it's from or you think if it looks weird, mm -hmm. don't do it. Call Marilyn or check with somebody that's tech savvy, like one of your kids or something. Absolutely, 100%. Yeah. That's a, a new partnership that the BBB is in right now with the Federal Trade Commission and with the local FBI offices around the nation to come together and work with small businesses in educating and teaching them to protect themselves. I mean, that's what keeps our communities alive. That That's what keeps us thriving. 94% mm -hmm. of the businesses that we work with are small, mm -hmm. under 10 employees. Right. So, I mean, that's, that's the meat of the matter, and they need to be protected. Mm -hmm. And that is so true. I see stuff like this all the time. It is ridiculous. They will try anything. They will represent themselves scammers as someone who who you can trust, basically. Um, they will create a sense of urgency or they will try to catch you when you're busy. Mm -hmm. So and that's that's the one thing that I have kind of made it my mission to um, educate businesses on is that it may not be the biggest amount of scams like that are successful, but 32 percent uh, fly under the radar because they slip through cracks like that. Mm -hmm. You have someone who is busy, who doesn't catch it, who clicks on the wrong button when they shouldn't. They open an attachment. You know, they recognize the person who sent them the email. Right, right. But they don't realize that that person's been hacked or that they're mm -hmm. fishing for information. Um, there's just so many easy ways that they can do that. And obviously, probably the one we have reported to us the most would be some type of a direct mail so you receive like an invoice showing that you mm. owe money and whoever you have paying your bills just you know they pay right, they right. pay the invoice because mm -hmm. they maybe aren't trained to know so it's very very important for your business to be aware of who's paying the bills who's responsible for that right and know what the vendors are you know well, scammers are very savvy about um picking logos that are very similar to other logos and getting it to fly under your radar. Yes. It looks, oh, I recognize that, but look at it closely, it's not the mm -hmm. same. Yeah. Exactly, so instead of being Dex nose, it would be yellow Dex, mm -hmm. and it would be the same little picture, but a different name, but still something that you recognize or mm -hmm. that your brain goes, oh, I know what that is. Right, right. And then before you know it, you've sent them off a check for $1,000 to pay for advertisement that you never 
yeah, ordered exactly. or received. So, or you know, it may be fifty dollars, but if enough businesses think, oh, just the fifty dollars, mm -hmm. pretty soon that adds up in their pocket, mm -hmm. and a lot of businesses now have been scammed out of that money. Well, and small businesses, especially when it comes to like merchant bank and credit card company imposters. Mm -hmm. um, a small business doesn't need to lose a lot of money for it to really affect them. Absolutely. Especially Absolutely. if you're a if you're a one man show mm -hmm. or a one woman show or Ooh. or two person. I mean, that's not a lot, but it needs to be protected. Right, right. Um, that company can grow. That company helps support our communities, and we in turn need to be doing our best to try and protect them. Well, I thank you. Thank you for working with the Federal Trade Commission and putting together this program so that you are protecting small business and. We're pleased to be able to communicate and work with you to share it because that's something that yes. not everybody knows about. So yes. the more information we can get out there to protect our businesses and community, mm -hmm. you know, the better off we're all going to be. You guys, because they'll pass on the, they'll, we'll pass oh on gosh. those losses to their customers. You know, I mean, yes, they will. You got to make it up somewhere. You that's know. right. That's right. So, um, what else? We don't have much time left, so I just want to get one of the high points you want to share with us. Okay. Well, one of the hot button topics right now is immigration. Mm -hmm. And uh, this is something that we are not politically affiliated in any way. However, we do notice that when something like this comes up that may tug on the heartstrings of people, that scammers are right there to pounce and to take advantage of your generosity. Mm. And so just a quick quick reminder to people that they really should check out charities before they donate. Right. And if you can at all possible, donate local. Contact your local chambers. I mean, contact the people, uh, the Prescott Valley Hope that was just here. Mm -hmm. Contact them. Find out, like, what are the charities that are out there? What is available for me to give so I can see locally that my dollars are being utilized? Absolutely. Absolutely. Please. And if, <laughs> if you have any questions, you can call Marilyn. Absolutely. 928-772-3410 or go to our website, bbb.org. And we're always pleased to share her information through our communication yes. so people know because absolutely when it happens to me I think it can happen to anybody mm -hmm. I mean and I in turn you guys warned me if a couple of months ago about a scam that you had had in, at the chamber and I flash it out on social media sent it to our campus in Phoenix and we put it out there to protect people okay well great job thank you Marilyn Huffman Better Marie. Business Bureau for joining us today thank you all for joining us have a very safe and sane 4th of July and we'll be back in two weeks <laughs>